in this lesson i am going to explain a concept two concepts i am going to explain let me explain pair of angles so we have already learned pair of angles in the previous lesson pair of complementary angles and pair of uh, supplementary angles now the other pair of angles is adjacent pair of angles adjacent adjacent pair of angles or simply we call adjacent angles okay so what are adjacent pair of angles these are also pair means two angles but these two have only a common vertex both angle will have a common vertex okay so every angle will be having a vertex there are two angles there should be two vertices but uh, there is only one common vertex for example i draw like this this is one angle okay and uh, this is one more angle so two angles these two angles are having different vertices so this is vertices one and this is vertex vertex uh, two so these two are not uh, common so adjacent pair they should have a common vertex so that means uh, the point should be the same vertex should be the same let me write uh, let me draw a vertex p so now let me draw two angles here so this is one ray okay so this is one more ray one angle is formed here if i draw one more ray then what happened there will be two angles so this is uh, one and this is a two so these angle one and angle two are called adjacent pairs of uh, adjacent pair of angles adjacent pair of angles or simply we can say adjacent angles also so here one plus two is 180 90 it's not like that they are just adjacent angles so that means that they should have a common vertex common vertex and one common arm also so one common arm will be there so here uh, let us say p a and p b and p c so a p b is one p b is common arm this is a common arm okay so pb is common arm so a pb is one angle bpc is one more angle so and p is common vertex so this is uh, what is adjacent pair of uh, angles now let us learn one more very very important concept linear pair linear pair of angles okay what is linear pair of angles so here it is a pair that means there should be two angles and uh, these two angles should be adjacent angles okay that means uh, these two angles should have only common vertex because it is a linear they should both non common arms non common arms should form a line should form a line so let me explain you with a diagram let us say p is the common point common vertex so let us draw a ray this is one ray pa pa is one ray and one more common ray is needed let us say this is a common ray this is pb okay non common arm this is uh, pa is one uh, com non common arm one more ray pc should be straight to pa so these two rays non common arms and pa and pc are non common arms and they should form a line then what happened these two are also adjacent angles angle 1 and angle 2 1 and 2 are also adjacent angles that means apb angle apb and angle bpc both are adjacent angles both are adjacent angles okay so they are called linear pair they are linear pair okay because non common arms are so in such case what happens 
these two angles sum is equal to 180 degrees because angle at a point linear angle linear angle means angle at p is 180 degrees so this p 180 degrees divided into 1 and 2 so angle 1 plus angle 2 or angle bpc plus angle apb is equal to 180 degrees okay so this is also called we call it as an axiom there is no proof for this so we call it as a linear pair axiom this you can take it as a rule whenever wherever is required we can use this rule okay every axiom can be explained in the controversy that means converse way converse way also if uh, angle 1 and 2 are adjacent angles other way angle 1 and 2 separate way angle 1 and 2 are adjacent and angle 1 plus 2 is equal to 180 is equal to 180 that means they are adjacent and they are equal to 180 degrees then we call them 1 and 2 are linear pair they form a linear pair okay linear pair if uh, two angles two adjacent angles whose sum is equal to 180 degrees then they, those two adjacent angles are called as a linear pair so finally we call them it is a linear pair axiom every axiom can be in two ways this is one way and this is another way okay On this concept uh, in my lesson number six I am going to explain you few problems okay on the linear pair of angles and adjacent angles we are going to do some questions in my lesson number six.